All right, Shalom again, Ras Safari. So we were looking at this, um, the AOL, some of the AOL stories and everything, and we got to see uh, that uh, Lauren Hill, if you go down here, Lauren Hill was, um, I think, uh, convicted or she's um, guilty in her particular trial. Let's go through this right here. If they still have it up here, Lauren Hill. And we made a mention in one of our earlier vids. Here it goes right down there. Lauren, Lauren Hill pleads guilty to big crime. They're setting her up because, you know, she's been vocal. Lauren Hill has been vocal recently. And many view her to be one of the, as you say, true blue as far as artists, you know, um, in the true artist tradition, you know. Um, she kind of dropped out of some of the Fuji thing and the big life, so forth and so on. But now they're speaking about, like, how many years down here, how many years she could spend in jail. So this Grammy winner was charged this month with three counts of failing to file tax returns. And now she... So let's go to the page. We had already looked at the article. And we wanted to follow up on this. We were saying to pray for the sister. You know, um, Lauren Hill here, she pleads guilty to tax evasion, faces three years in prison. Now, we don't know whether she's going to actually do time in prison, but this kind of ties in with a lot of the other points that we've been making concerning our, our name and nationality. You understand? And... Um, our birthright and living within contracts and also this this hidden um, 14th, 13th, and 14th um, amendment person status that a lot of us, even the artists, get hit. You see, when, the, when it becomes a money thing, you know, when it becomes a money thing. Now, there's more than I want to say about the whole IRS thing because we've been speaking about even with the Federation, if you're more Federation, and we've withdrawn from certain... Um, executive duties within that organization because of this whole IRS thing. And we have to really understand this thing very, very keenly. So here, it's, it's in, you know, here she's charged with failing to, to file or pay her income tax. Now, some of the comments down here was interesting because he said that this one person, she won't go to jail, she just has to file three, um, three back years and agreed to a payment plan. Some say that the same thing happened to um, Ron Isle and Willie Nelson, and the list goes on, and trying to make a point that it starts by floating the quarterly tax payment to the end of the year and then to the next year, and then the hell with it, um, the hell with it, and not at all time to get a day gig. This person taught some stuff about love, finding love, so forth and so on. You can read it on your own. Um, but here it says, funny, she's a criminal, but Obama's cabinet member who got caught just made an innocent mistake. So, you know, kind of hinting that there's a bigger conspiracy behind this. This person here says, oh, too bad, couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Don't know whether that's sarcastic or whether really the person is, is legit, what they're saying. But this person says right here, she probably forgot to buy medical insurance also. Very interesting, that particular pun there. Now, Kathy right here says, when you deal with the IRS and tax evasion, nonviolent offender, and not as um, someone um, posted, the IRS doesn't play games. My bet is that she will definitely do some time. We pray, hopefully not, but that seems to be what, what, they're, what they're aiming, what they're gunning for. She must be a dummycrat, this person says, a Democrat. Um, you must be an idiot, this person responded, right? And you're an ah. Okay, we can get that. Now, this person here said, um, what is it with these entertainers and tax? They know the government got their eyes on their purse string. She has uh, six kids and headed to jail for something that could have been avoided. 
Makes no sense. Remember Wesley Snipes? Good point about Wesley there, right? What happened to Wesley Snipes? Don't hear about him. Then they went off to the legals here. When the legals start paying taxes, then recharge her. Until then, free Lauren. So perhaps there should be a free Lauren movement going on. We don't know. We haven't checked anything out on that. Now, this person says, um, you think illegals have it all, have it good because they don't pay tax? Consider some of the disadvantages of being an illegal worker in the U.S. If they get hurt on the job, they can sue. They can never collect Social Security. If they get fired or laid off, no unemployment. They get extremely low wages. They get no health care, can't drive, or will constantly look over their shoulders for the cops. Pretty much impoverished life. I don't envy that. I'd rather pay my taxes. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's, let's go on to this one right here. Now, the response was, yet they still come to the U.S. illegally by the thousands. But here's where you're misguided. They do drive and have no insurance, so if they drive, if they drink and drive, hit your car, you can't sue. Well, you could, but you're, you, you'd get nothing. They show up at the ER and get medical care, no insurance. We all pay their bill, 33% of all federal prisoners and illegal aliens, is that because the federal government is racist or because the people who enter the U.S. illegally have a propensity for crime? So it kind of ended off right there, and this is on um, the, boom, the boom box where this particular story about Laura and the Hill was posted. So we just want to update you because we said that, that they had charged her with that and you might have caught it yourself. So right here... They say that she um, pleaded uh, guilty, and they ramble on a little bit about, like, this is, like, 1.5 for not filing for three years. Um, she faces a maximum one-year sentence for each count. She's 37 years old, South Orange resident. Um, you know, she got to start with the Fugees. Uh, she had a relationship with one of the with one of the Marleys, um, with uh, Rohan Marley, and this is her story right here. This is what's going on. But that, of course, those who know about the whole tax, you know, the Illuminati thing going on, and where it all started from, the New Deal, and how those emblems and emblems got posted on the dollar bill back with the uh, New Deal and um, uh, I think Roosevelt or whatnot in the 30s and everything and how the, the gold standard was taken off of and the gold and silver standard was taken off of the currency, so forth and so on. Now, what's really ironic about this whole tax evasion thing and, and IRS is that the IRS is not a federal, it's not a, it's, it's not a government entity. It's, it's a really a private corporation. So when you put that together on top of the fact that so-called black people who still are under 13th and 14th Civil Rights Amendment basically is property of the, of the federal government, in other words, and they're not in their true person. So when one think about, well, I'm not going to pay taxes because the, the IRS is not a government entity, so forth and so on, you know, you really have to be careful about that particular matter. You really have to do your homework on that. We're not saying this was Lauren Hill's situation, but we're saying to, you know, pray for her, for her situation, so forth and so on. And um, it's really, really interesting. It's kind of sad on a certain level, but it, it once again, it makes I and I point, the point that we're speaking about. That means we have to become informed, really, really informed, but... It's, it's interesting because she was speaking up recently, you know, speaking up recently about the system. And there's a lot of ones and ones that speak out about the system. And when they're at this particular point of stardom, pseudo stardom, and, and make money and don't pay up and come back out and start talking, they usually find this one, the so-called taxes, the whole tax equation. And what's ironic is that in spite of all the information out there, 
that you find even the so-called big celebrities, a lot of them who do speak out, who do know what's going on, and still they really don't um, CYA in a sense. You know what I mean? When we talk about the Moorish, some of the Moorish arguments, which are true legal arguments about, you know, the whole status, name and status, name and status, you know, with these, we know that this is not an African name, so forth and so on, not an original name, and we can make that connection with the whole slave trade and the so-called three-fifths status that most black folks have. So now, when they don't pay their taxes, like, for example, somebody mentioned about Willie Nelson and Ron Isle, well, you know, the way they treat black people in America and the way so-called um, other foreign national Europeans over here are treated. We know that there's a, there's a double standard. It's, it's very obvious. And if we watch this case, we might see a little more of this double standard going on. But we're going to get into a little bit more of this, and we suggest we recommend some of the vids on the whole um, taxes and IRS. You know, those vids are out there, but you have to recognize what you need to do to CYA. You know, since it's not enough to say I'm not going to pay taxes because, you know, the IRS is, uh, is not a, a true government agency and there's a conspiracy and so forth and so on. Okay, you might know that because these laws are being updated constantly. So you really have to stay up on top of these particular things. But the first thing is to be in your right person, in your true natural person. And there is paperwork, there is legal work, there is... You, there is um, clarifications that need to be made, you know, public declarations that need to be made to let them know that I have not been made over as your property. And many of these artists, even though they may have that statue and celebrity and making a lot of money because they're talented, so forth and so on, and even speaking out about a lot of things going on in the world or black issues or social issues, so forth and so on, it's like many of them still get caught out there on these particular levels and at their particular status. It shouldn't have to be that particular way. Anyway, we're not saying this against Lauren Hill, but we're pointing out her particular situation as a case in point. And you see the title right here, that Lauren Hill pleads guilty to tax evasion and faces at least three years in prison. Let's see which one of these particular um, ways suggested down here by some of the boombox um, comments that, that happens. Will it just be a payment plan like the first person said? Or will it be like the Wesley Snipes sort of situation? You know, and um, isn't it interesting? Because you remember when it says right here, funny, she's a criminal, but Obama's cabinet member who got caught just made an innocent mistake. But you also have to remember that when you're at this high level of government, you know, you know, you got to be a lawyer. You know, you got to know the law on a certain level. And most lawyers can't probably even qualify for po politics because of, you know, of certain things in their training. You know what I mean? But when you look at um, Obama and others in his cabinet, they understand the law. Remember the whole thing about Obama's birth certificate? You know, people don't want to talk about that, but that's also a key issue, too. When they say that Obama is, is, is not so-called a natural-born so-called American and the Kenyan connection, it's because Obama's status is really higher than all these Negro statuses. See, the white man don't want to tell you this. Every time they talk about he's born in Kenya and he, he doesn't have a birth certificate and show us a birth certificate, when they do that, they're saying, show us that Obama is like these Negroes who are our property. And what really pisses off a lot of these um, so-called foreign national, so-called Americans who know, who know the game and know what up, they know that Obama has a different status. You know, they say Barry, well, Barry Sotoro, right? That's his other name. But his name is a, clearly an African or some might say an Islamic name. And there's been all this allusion to the fact that he is, was born in Africa, you understand, and not in America. You, you know, we've heard so many people argue about this Obama thing, and, it, and it's kind of funny. You know, it's, it's, it's really kind of funny 
that all these people argue about it and they, they kind of miss the point. The point is that he is not under 13th and 14th artificial person status like the majority of Americans, but moreover like the majority of emancipated black people and people who come under so-called that black status or the black law. You see, they come under that black law. In other words, the, for, for black folks, it's 13th and 14th Amendment persons. They were bought from the rich, white, land-owning male gentry, and they were bought over by the federal government, and the first thing the federal government did was give you a birth certificate. And then the next thing that the federal government did, just like the slave master and sharecropping, is tax you. Yovas, and once they were able to do it to Negroes, they were able to do it to everyone. So there's a lot of foolish white folks that say, well, you got to pay taxes, so forth, so forth, so forth, and so on, right? So, you know, but what they don't even understand, what most of these white folks don't even understand is where did this whole birth certificate come from? In America, it came from slavery, keeping track on the slaves, keeping track on the newly emancipated, newly bought over property, bought over as property people. Over. So even when these stars and celebrities make all this money and they, they talk this, they talk that, they better make sure that their I's are dotted and their T's are crossed when they're functioning under that 13th and 14th artificial person status, especially when they're making money. Especially. So if they're out there speaking out about the government, about white supremacy, so forth and so on, and they're a celebrity, they better make sure that they're, and they're under 13th, 14th Amendment, artificial person, Negro, Black, and Colored Smith, Jones, and Johnson, Michael Jackson, the Jackson name, the Jefferson, George Jefferson. You know, when they come under these European names, you know, we, we, we know a whole lot about them. So let's stop faking the funk, people, and let us, and let us, um, 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 live within our birthright. Let us let us let us preserve our birthright. You understand and our true name and our true nationality and, and and come to the human rights level. You understand? Article eighteen, especially, you know, the human rights level and get off of this civil rights level where it's basically just another form of slavery. Let's pray for this sister right here. You know, and pray that she gets wise and, and, and works out her salvation out of this, out of this situation. May, 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 may Abba Amlaku be with her. You know, may, may Father be with her in this situation, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know? Anyway, more to come on this particular matter. Shalom. Ras Teferi.